Just because of the way it worked, I was kind of writing on, on the hoof. So you didn't know the end of the story until you got the final chapter written in front of you with the artwork. So you were always kind of working in the dark as to where the story was heading. A little bit. How, <laughs> how challenging was that? Like, is it really hard to create images, not, not kind of knowing the final resolution of everything? And, and, because you don't know what's going to happen to the characters, you don't know what's going to happen to the world, you know, how... Um, only in terms of continuity, you, uh, as long as... The only way that causes a problem, I think, is when things change and you go back and you have to... Uh, you end up having to change artwork to fit in when, when the actual storyline changes. Um, but in terms of, uh, you know, you writing as we go along, uh, I, I didn't find it a, a massive problem. Did you ever think, is he ever going to finish it? <laughs> uh, there were a few times, <laughs> but no, no. It was, uh, no, it was just a very smooth process. Would you describe yourself as more of a clock Torian or a chipper? Um, well, I think I'm definitely more of a clock Torian, but I think that, that whole divide in a way reflects my... Uh, kind of split view of things because in a way I'm very wedded to technology and, and quite into sort of technological innovation like a chipper but in so many other ways I'm really old-fashioned and kind of yearn for simpler times of sitting in a room with my record player on my own you know tra trading milk for <laughs> vegetables or <laughs> some other bartering system so um, I think, you know, you, you, I guess, think back on things and where they can, and that, I think the whole world reflects my, you know, on the one hand, sort of ambivalence to technology and on the other, the fact that I kind of embrace it. But I mean, fundamentally, I'm, you know, I think when you hit middle age, you get quite sentimental about your past and, you know, how good it was back in the day. Mm. So, yeah, I'm a clock Torian. What about you? I'd definitely be a, go for a, be more of a clock Torian. Yeah. I'm not a fan of the, the touch screen uh, products. And you're not even middle aged. Um, well, <laughs> no, not, not, I wouldn't say so. Not, not quite, but yeah, I'd say I'm a definitely clock Torian at heart. <laughs>